So one of the main reasons that the reforming reaction is carried out is to turn long-chain alkanes into branched alkanes. Now the problem with long-chain alkanes is that if you use them for fuel, they have a low octane number, such as the fuel that Dr. Atkinson is filling his car up with. Now the problem with low octane numbers is that the car will combust the fuel in a way that causes knocking. Knocking means that your engine has a distinctive tap, tap, tap sound and the engine is less efficient. Now, using high octane fuel, which you can get via the process of reforming, reduces knocking and means your car will run a lot quieter and a lot more efficiently. So the classic example of reforming is with hexane. Uh, that was in the last IB exam as well. So there are three reactions. The first turns hexane into a branched alkane, such as 3-methylpentane, and that is called isomerization. And these branched alkanes have higher octane numbers and they're better fuels. The second sort of reforming is cyclization, and that makes, for example, in this case, cyclohexane. So it's a ring structure with only single bonds between the carbons. And the third sort is aromatization, which again makes a ring structure, but it's an aromatic ring. So that is, it's based on benzene. It has those delocalized electrons in the middle. So what's the use for the uh, cyclic or the aromatics? Well, they're feedstock. That means they're used to make other chemicals. So the IB has 10 practicals that they expect you to do, and one of them is molecular manipulation. That's like the fifth time I've tried to say that correctly. I'm just going to give up. All right, so let's look at the hexane example again. Three sorts of reforming. The first one is isomerization, which is where you put a branch in. Just make sure the branch isn't at the end, because then it isn't a branch. The second sort of reforming you need to know is cyclization, which is where you make a ring structure probably six in a ring. In this case, cyclohexane. Don't forget the hydrogen. And the final sort of reforming you need to know is aromatization, which is based on the benzene ring. Six carbons separated by single and double bonds with four hydrogens. And so finally, let's look at another reforming reaction not of hexane, but let's say heptane. So that's got seven carbons. So I'm going to use the skeletal structures. First of all, isomerization. So I've got to make a branch. Doesn't matter where the branch is, as long as it's not at the end, of course. That isn't a branch. Then I've got cyclization. It's got to be six in a ring, as far as I know. Five in a ring is unstable, unlikely, as is four. And Oh, there's the lift doors. And aromatization, again, that's got to be based on benzene. Don't forget the hydrogens. And what are the uh, conditions? But the books are unclear and contradictory. So I'd imagine that the IB won't ask you about this. So long chain alkanes, when they get compressed in an engine, tend to explode prematurely. And this is a branched chain alkane. So this doesn't explode prematurely when it's compressed in an engine. 